Court documents obtained by the Shade Room detailed a history of domestic violence and child neglect allegedly at the hands of Jeezy. The documents describe between three to four incidents of physical abuse against Jeannie. One incident allegedly occurred at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in San Francisco, California, on April 14, 2022. Jeezy allegedly choked Jeannie from behind as she was ascending the stairs, and he then pushed her down the steps, per the paperwork. The incident caught the attention of the hotel security guard stationed in the lobby. Records show the rapper proceeded to verbally assault Jeannie, calling her a FNB and repeating, I can do so much better than you. Security allegedly intervened and provided Jeannie protection after she repeatedly stated she felt unsafe. Another incident allegedly occurred three weeks after Jeannie gave birth to her daughter Monaco in January 2002. Reports state that during a conversation inside a parked car on January 18, 2022, in Miami, records show that Jeezy requested that the driver step outside the vehicle and begin to berate Jeannie. At the time, he hurled insults such as U-304 and said, I can't wait to divorce you when we get back. Jeannie was held against her will inside the vehicle. While trying to escape, Jeezy allegedly struck her with a closed fist across her cheekbone and eye. The attack reportedly caused her a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Following the incident later that week, the estranged couple contacted their pastor and therapist for counseling regarding the ongoing domestic violence. All reports of abuse were reported to a pastor, therapist, and close friend of Jeannie's. Another incident reportedly involved verbal abuse at the UNCF 39th Annual Atlanta Mayor's Masked Ball on December 17, 2022. During the UNCF event, Jeannie went to the restroom with her girlfriend, and Jeezy allegedly became enraged because he did not know her whereabouts for 25 minutes. He allegedly reacted by abruptly demanding that the two leave the party. Jeezy allegedly choked Jeannie from behind as she was ascending the stairs, and he then pushed her down the steps per the paperwork. The incident caught the attention of the hotel security guard stationed in the lobby. Records show the rapper proceeded to verbally assault Jeannie, calling her a FNB and repeating, I can do so much better than you. Security allegedly intervened and provided Jeannie protection. After another incident, Jeezy allegedly injured Jeannie and himself after crashing a golf cart. Jeannie shared text messages from Jeezy apologizing for his behavior that caused the injuries. He wrote, I'm so sorry, babe. Haven't forgiven myself for putting you in danger. I've been uneasy and sad about it. Unbeknownst to Jeannie, Jeezy was overly intoxicated before the crash. That wasn't the first time he allegedly crashed a vehicle during their marriage. He also crashed his luxury vehicle into the side of their home at one point, per the docks. No one was seriously injured at that time, but there was some damage to their property. The motions also discussed concerns for their two-year-old safety. According to the documents, the minor child was vacated from the Atlanta, Georgia, residence on or about October 11, 2023. Jeannie reportedly removed Monaco after she found the child with Jeezy's Louis Vuitton bag. Jeannie checked the bag to see why it was so heavy and learned her estranged husband's AK-47 was inside. Some of Jeannie's additional alleged concerns include issues with explosive outbursts and excessive drinking. This is in addition to the domestic violence perpetuated against Jeannie and his eldest son, Jadarius. Documents also state that Jeannie mistakenly believed him when he convinced her before their marriage that he was a changed man and his past was in his past. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. Police reportedly arrested Jeezy in 2014 with charges of battery, false imprisonment, and making terrorist threats against his son from another relationship.